Yes, thank you. So, welcome to Sai Medha. So, now let us we see the electrical engineering materials. Electrical engineering materials. Yes, as we know, electrical engineering materials are four categories. Generally, we used to see these three. But apart from, uh, I will add another material which is called magnetic material. Magnetic material. So, first one is conductor, semiconductor, insulator, or dielectrics, and magnetic material. And what is the difference between insulator and dielectric material? Because while you are designing the capacitor, between the two conductors used to place the dielectric. You cannot place the insulator between these two. Insulator is wrong. Dielectric is right. What is the reason behind this? Yeah, what is the reason behind this? The insulating material does not having the ability to store the energy. But whereas the dielectric material is having the uh, capability or ability to store the energy. That is the reason in the capacitor while we are uh, uh, framing or designing you use the dielectric materials than the insulator. But both are same. Insulator properties, dielectric properties are same except energy storing capability. Yes, now you see uh, conductors, semiconductors, insulators or dielectrics and magnetic material. So let us we see one by one. The first one is conductors. Yeah, conductor in the sense which have the large number of free electrons. That is, see here, conductors may be defined as the materials, so which have free valency electron in plenty, that is large number of free electrons for the conduction. The commonly used conductors are copper, aluminium, tungsten, iron, steel, lead, nickel, tin. All these are the conductors. Yeah. So, examination, they may ask the question like this. Silver, Next, copper. Next, aluminum. So, among these three, so which is having the highest conductivity, which is having the lowest conductivity? Conductivity point of view. Conductivity. So, this is high. This is medium. And this will be low. As compared with the three materials, the highest conductivity material is silver and the next one is copper, next one is aluminum. Similarly, what about the resistance? Highest will be aluminum because it is inverse. This is medium only and here this will be low only. It is low only. Okay. And in this case, the valency and conduction bands are overlap. So, where in conductors, valency band and conduction bands are overlap. Since there is no physical distinction between the two bands, therefore, a large number of free electrons are available. Yes, what is the reason behind this in the sense? Because valency band and conduction band, those, these two are the energy bands. Valency band and conduction band. So, these two are overlap. Overlap. So, that means the valency band, conduction band, we cannot discriminate. So, these two will be overlap so therefore the large number of free electrons are available for the conduction purpose okay let us we see that how <clears throat> yes here i have the simple structures for conductors semiconductors insulators conductor semiconductors insulator i have given these three diagrams these three diagrams are called the energy band gaps in material energy band diagrams energy band diagram so just you see here first conductor or metal conductor or metal so here if you see that this is the conduction band this will be the conduction band and this is the valency band 
this valency band and therefore if you see that this valency band some portion of valency band is in the conduction band also which is we can consider as the overlap overlap so hence the conduction band electrons as well as valency band electrons are freely available here therefore we can say the large number of free electrons are present in the case of conduction uh, conductors okay next <clears throat> if you come to the semiconductor in the semiconductor this is valency band and here this will be the conduction band and in between these two very small amount of energy gap is there small amount of <coughs> energy gap is there so when whenever if you increase the temperature so then this uh, this gap will be overlap as this one this gap will be overlap as this one so that is the reason under the normal temperature the semiconductor will act as the insulator but whereas in the high temperature when the temperature is increases the semiconductor will act as the conductor okay yes next one insulator just you see here valency band here conduction band here the between the valency band and conduction band you have the large gap is there therefore it is having the very less number of free electrons just i will give some more uh, information regarding to this one <coughs> yes first what do you mean by valency band valency band in the sense the electrons in the outermost cell are known as the valency electrons valency electrons in the sense the electrons which are present in the outermost shell outermost cell so those are the valency cell so these valency electrons contains a series of energy levels and form an energy band known as the valency band so that means these valency electrons contain the series of energy levels and this can forms the energy band which is called the valency band okay and the valency band has the highest occupied energy why valency band has see this one valency band has the highest occupied highest occupied energy okay <clears throat> yes next regarding to the conduction band the conduction band in the sense the valency electrons are not tightly held to the molecules due to the which few of these valency electrons leave the outermost orbit even at room temperature and become free electrons the free electrons conducts current in the conductors and are therefore known as the conduction electrons yes as we know if suppose this is the atom which is nucleus around this one i have the orbit so let me assume this is outermost orbit so it may have the electrons like this it may have the electrons like this but some electron cannot hold by the nucleus some electrons cannot hold by the nucleus and they may leave the atom or they may attach it to the other atom even at the room temperature even i did not given any temperature for that but it can easily move from one atom to other atom due, due to this one these electrons are called the free electrons these electrons are called the free electron that means what about the free electron the free electron is the electron which can easily attach to the or atom or detached from the atom even at the room temperature so this is uh, at the outermost orbit this it is present at the outermost orbit outermost cell of the atom okay and therefore so the free free electron when free electron move from here to here the movement of free electron will gives the current the movement of free electron will gives the current so hence you can say the flow of free electrons is called the current so the flow of current the flow of free electron will gives the current the flow of free electron will gives the conduction will gives the conduction therefore these are called the conduction electrons 
conduction electron and the conduction band is one that contains the conduction electrons and it has the lowest occupied energy levels it is having the lowest occupied energy level so what you can say the previous case valency band is having the highest occupied energy levels and this conduction electro conduction band is having the lowest occupied energy levels